you put a suit on, it must be great. I wear one all the time, and although it's a new suit and I love it, I'd love to have that buzz again when I have my first Savile Row suit. So when you put one on, it must be fantastic. My career spanned over about uh, 48 years uh, working in the row. I started in tailoring in 1971. I came straight out of school when I was 15. So I've been in or around the row since then. Uh, we have a royal warrant for, the, for the, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. Uh, we've had it for the best part of six years. Um, I think I know we please him with clothes because if we didn't, we wouldn't have the royal warrant. But it's partly, well, I would say 50, 60 percent as well, you know, service. We give the same service to everybody. We don't, just because it's the Duke of Edinburgh or any, any other member of the royal family, it's not going to make any difference to the service we give. You know, if someone says they need their suit delivered at three o'clock this afternoon, it will be delivered at three o'clock this afternoon. If they want to come in at six o'clock tonight after our closing times, well, nine times out of ten, we're going to be able to do that and look after them. There's certain customers you can tell when they come in, they'll have a, you can have a little weenie joke with them. And there's others that start off by saying, you know, a friend of mine recommended me, I don't know why the suit was lousy. And then we know we can have a, you know, a little bit of banter going there. But, but again, with civility, it's not a case of, you know, well, we got this guy, we, you know, we've got him hooked. We can, it, you never know. I mean, you, you know, you, you don't push it. It's just, uh, and you know your customer, hopefully over the years, I've known where to play it up and then play it down, really. Well, it's done basically with a lot of talking. We, we start talking, it start when someone comes in, they start talking about what goes into a suit, how they like to look. So you're doing a lot of talking when you're choosing the cloth. You're not just choosing the cloth, you're getting an idea of what they really want out of the suit. So you've got to work on what the guy sees in the mirror. I want it a bit smaller, I want it a bit looser, I want to be able to drive in it, I want to be able to sort of move around in it and put lo lots of phones in my pockets or lots of wallets in my pockets. So everybody's totally different. The bespoke suit, in my opinion, lasts longer for the simple reason it's you buy an expensive car. We, we like to have it back, we service it. If the linings are getting weak, we, we restitch it, we replace bits. Um, it's a kind of ongoing thing and they really last. I mean, we get suits back um, that are being handed down to the son of that might already be 20 years old and, it, and, and the cloth's still great, or like the lining might be a bit weak, so we'll change the lining. Um, it's an ongoing thing, it's, it's, it's like a Patek Philippe watch, it, it kind of goes on really. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do notice a bespoke suit, they can't understand why they've noticed it, but you walk into a room and it does look different, it also gives you the, the much more air of confidence when you're walking into a room, it's when they want to make a statement as, look at me, I'm here for business. Mm -hmm.